What's up guys, it's your favorite Cuba Coach. Welcome back to a new video series. This one's gonna be the Cuba Coach vlog series. Let's go do this thing. So welcome back to the channel guys. If you guys are new to Kiwi Golf Japan, we do a bunch of videos like this every single week. So what you gotta go do, hit that little red subscribe button. That little one right there, you know, you're about to press it. Smash the like button, please leave us a comment. Let me know if you like this new style video. And as always, share the video, hit the bell notification, and let's hop into the first part. So typically this series is gonna be based around a common topic. Like let's say this particular video is gonna be about your questions that you commonly ask you. Maybe next video we'll do it about how to cure your slice. Now also, because I don't wanna bore you guys and always have it at the golf course, we're gonna be doing this vlog series more so in a city setting, as well as really, I just want you guys to see a different side of me as well as a different side maybe of Japan. So hope you guys enjoy and let's go get to work. All right guys, so you probably noticed I don't have a camera. So who's filming? Johnny, why don't you flip it around real quick? All right, hello, hello there. So Johnny's Instagram is gonna be below. And by the way, ladies out there, he's single, right John? Are you yeah, single? yeah, 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 slide in those DMs. All right, <laughs> let's get on to the video. Okay. So the number one question we always get is, how is your name the Kiwi Coach? You guys have probably noticed by now, I don't have a New Zealand accent. But actually, the story's quite funny. So really, my barber, Barber J, I like to call him, gave me a really interesting haircut one time. See, Barber J, Barber J's, let's just call him, uh, he's, he's my black barber, right? So what he did one time was he might've given me a little bit of a fade. Now, when he told me fade, I was thinking just the sides, right? You know, I was gonna get a nice little fade on the sides, still be able to spike my hair up. But no, Barber J, Barber J went first cut with the buzzer. And what do you think I did? I called him mother -er. What the hell, man? My beautiful hair, it's all gone now. It was all gone. And to make matters even worse, my wife decides to take a picture posted on Instagram. And guess what she called me to her followers? She called me the Cuba coach, and even better, all of you guys call me the Cuba coach as well. So, personally, it's probably not the worst nickname I could have had. I'm really, I, you know, I took it in stride. That's why I actually changed my nickname to the Cuba coach. But anyways, that is kind of the story of how I became the Cuba coach. All right, so the next question I want to answer for you guys, and this one's more so for the haters out there. The haters, what you guys tell me is, hey, Kiwi Coach, in America, you were never going to be successful. That's why you came over to Japan, right? So I want to answer that real quickly right now. So the first thing with that, actually in America, and I don't want to get into too much with the numbers because I know that's not really uh, tasteful, but in America, I was actually making more money than I actually am here. I've only had one month here in Japan where I made more money than what I made in America. Now, there's a lot of reasons for that, right? I have a family here in Japan, as well as in America, it's a lot easier to set up your business in a way to where you can get a lot more tax benefits than you can here in Japan. But to answer your question, there is a fair valid point to that. I think I have much more upside here in Japan, but at the same time, the initial one to two years, I'm not really making anywhere near as much money as I did in America. So hopefully that answers your question. All right, so a lot of you guys want my opinion. What do I think about Fujimanti, right? Fujimanti, if you guys don't know, which I'm sure you guys know, but he's a famous Japanese instructor here who teaches the Japanese GG swing. So personally, based off what I've seen from Fujimanti, I think that he's doing overall a pretty good job of teaching the Japanese GG swing, but I do think that there's a lot of key elements that he's missing, as well as more so talking about the ethicalness if that's even a word, I may have just made it up if it's not a word. Him being ethical about the way that he's teaching the theory is more so what I'm not really happy about and more so what I wanna speak out against. So to answer your guys' question, my personal feelings on Fujimanti, uh, 
I don't know him too well, so I can't really pass too much judgment, but based off what I've seen him do professionally, I get a vibe that he's not the most ethical person, but again, I can't really make a decision because I don't know him that well. Hopefully that answers your question. When are we gonna find your future wife? Uh, yeah, as soon as possible. As soon as possible. <laughs> All right, guys, you gotta go find him a girlfriend, because then I'm gonna have to pay for your uh, for your, your card, your visa here. All right, that's perfect. That's gonna work. <laughs> But yeah, I love this city though. This is uh, Scuba, if you guys don't know this place. Bunch of kind of little boutique mm -hmm. areas. We're walking over to Eoz right now. I gotta go get a little birthday mm -hmm. present for my wife. She'll like it. But yeah, Scuba, great city. They got Mount Scuba over there. This is like kind of Ibaraki where there's a bunch of golf courses. So it's kind of a golf mecca. It's perfect for us. And it's quiet too, which is good. I've lived in cities before, you know, I lived in San Francisco, lived in, uh, well, didn't really live in LA for too long, lived a little bit there. I much rather like close to the city, but not quite in the city. That's the ideal. That's the best. All right, John, it's time to find you, your future wife here. Okay, so what I'm thinking about first, Back. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's on this floor. It might be third floor, but I'm pretty positive it's here. Okay. So let's go try to find this store might let us go. Alright guys, so if you didn't know, Ayano, she's a very simple person, but a very elegant person. So this present's gotta be simple, but yet elegant. I'm a dude. I'm totally gonna F this up. We're gonna try it, and hopefully they have a return policy. So the issue is, this is not only for her stuff, this is kind of for the baby stuff as well. So she needs like, not just a small bag, a little purse, she needs like a big one. Mm -hmm. design yeah. Don't buy your wife or significant other very expensive stuff that you can't return. Right, right, you have to check first. <laughs> Gotta check first. Osaka's on the right side, and then Tokyo's on the left. <laughs> you gotta understand that. You get out of the Osaka airport, and then you get on this side, people are gonna look at you like you're crazy. Right, right. But Scuba is actually a science city, so they actually, down there, they had like an actual uh, robot exhibit. Maybe the best time to pick up for you, Anna. What do you think? Very much done. 